Hello again. In this video, I will try to follow the style that I usually use. There may be a little more steps, but if you know how, you will be able to use it to its full potential in the future. Let's start. You can choose a simple character like this. Use the pencil tool, tap auto close and use fill color. Choose the main color you want. Use the gradient tool to drag from top to bottom. Choose the elliptical type. I set the key light from the top right corner. Position it in place. Then go to the styles panel, tap create new category, enter a name. Tap select add style from selection. OK, we have a style for the skin. You can do this as much as you want. Just make sure that the light and shadow go in the same direction. And if we keep it like this, what if we want the light to come from the left side? Do we have to do it again? Yes, we have to do it again. But I will use the flip horizon method first, and then flip it back to the original position that you want. Did you notice that in the part that I want it to be protruding, such as the cheek, I will draw a cheek shape and add a little Gaussian blur. You may have to move the gradient to help as well. Okay. Actually, this is enough. Easy, suitable for children's story illustrations, what do you think? But I'll add shadows and highlights in another step. You can move to pixel persona anytime using the clipping mask method according to your preference. Use this method as your main method first. I may not be very familiar with working on iPad yet, since I've only had this app for a short time. Okay, let's add shadows, 
Draw shapes. Select blend mode as multiply layer. The multiply layer read the color value between black and white, but I will add a little red, then add Gaussian blur, and add style from selection. Since the styles panel is with the FX layer panel, it may be a bit more difficult to tap between the two panels, which is not the same as the desktop version. It will be easier. You may have to use the save style method with FX Gaussian blur more. Or you can use the method of adding style first, then adjust the Gaussian blur value later for suitability, or you can use the copy and paste style method instead. For the highlight, use the overlay layer method. It may have more steps than normal drawing, but I like it because it gives me a smooth shaders. It's suitable for game characters, mascots, and cartoons for products. You can try applying it yourself. Some might say it's easier to use the raster drawing method. I think that's good too. Sometimes I want to try it as well. Okay. You can collect details in both designer and pixel persona, as you like. That's all for this video. If anyone has this app, try it. It may be slow and have a lot of steps, but I believe you will be able to apply it to your work well. I hope it is useful for you. Thank you for watching.